Okay, so this video is for C minor blues and uh, additional practice. Um, using five finger patterns before. And now this, for this practice you would use the full um, scale. So you have to do your crosses. Um, at the C uh, scale you're going to have to cross here. Third, bring the thumb under to the F. Um, for the F scale, you'd use one, two, three, like that, A flat, B flat, and then bring the thumb under to the B. And then from here, I'd probably just use my fourth finger. Okay? And then for the G, you're going to cross it kind of like more like the C. So one, three. So thumb went under to the C there, okay? Um, so as far as the pattern that you could use for this, um, you can use eighth notes over the chord notes we were previously doing. And what you do is you run the scale up and down, okay? And that's going to take two measures worth from the left hand, okay? While the left hand's going, like so. So one and two and three and four and So you notice that was two measures worth on this hand. So when you're doing the one chord in the blues, you have to do it four at the beginning. So what you would that would mean is that you would go up and down the scale twice. Okay? So one and two and three and four and one and two and three four. One and two and three. Okay, so that would take care of the whole um, first four measures. Then when you go up to the F, you're only doing two measures, so you would just do up and down once. One and two and three and four and one and two and three, four. And then you would go back, two again. So the two there, you would just go up and down once. Now we're at the G, okay? So the G is short. It's only one measure, so you're not going to get through the whole thing up and down, so you have to make a choice where you want to stop, okay? Um, if you did eighth notes all the way through, you would end up with this. One and two and three and four and, okay? Some people might opt to just stop there on the four and just not worry about the and there, okay? So it would be like this. One and two and three and four. And just stop on the four and then switch to the F. You would do the same thing we did on the G. You would stop. One and two and three and four. You could do either and or stop on the four there. And then we would go back to the one. One and two and three and four. And same situation where you could stop there or there. And then the one time on the G. One and two and three and four and <laughs> sorry, I did the old five finger method there, um, but you get the idea. So that's a um, a more extended variation of going up and down the scale while doing the quarter notes um, in the blues, the minor blues progression. Okay, so um, that's a first starter. Um, the next thing that you could do is um, go back to your five finger position and then just try to mix around your notes so that you get more comfortable um, jumping around. Um, you could also do this with the more extended version if you're up for it, um, but that's up to you. Um, so I can kind of show you. Um, um, let's see, so like depending on if you're um, if you're going to do the extended, you would just have to watch out which finger you would go to the E flat with. Um, if you're going to do the cross, you just probably want to use your third. So as you're moving around, so 
So if you know you're going to be moving around past the five finger position, then you want to just always be in the habit of using the third there so that you can always make that cross. But if you know you're just going to mess around in, in these five notes, then it doesn't really matter. You can just go to the second finger and just... And uh, so I'll do some eighth notes um, just working around in this in this area, okay? So just totally random mixing them up, okay? So one, two, three, four. Okay, just basic eighth notes there. Um, now the next bit too is the actual swung uh, way that you play the blues, the normal blues kind of feel, which is a dotted, um, a dotted or a swung feel. Um, so instead of you have to think basically if you actually wrote it out, uh, you would think of it in triplets instead of in eighths. Um, and eighths are just one and two and three and four, but tripleted eighths are like one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. And the way the blues does it is they don't play the middle note. So it's instead of one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, it's one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So that's why you get that kind of lazy kind of a pattern sound, right? Real laid back, right? So when you play it, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. One triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. So that's the pretty much the real way to play the blues. It's typically like that swung way as opposed to a straight way because straight would be, you know, just like uh, other music, you know. Um, so to play the blues, you just want to think in that sort of lazy pattern, all right? Now, I want to say it's like lazy, but it's not really lazy. It's just different. But it sounds to a normal person that's trying to think in eighth notes, it sounds lazy. <laughs> To, if your if your brain is stuck in eighth notes, one and two and it's kind of a little laid back, right? And wait, uh, it waits a little longer to play the notes. One and two and three and four and one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet. So you can just start with this for a second just to get the rhythm. 